Let's move on to our second main topic today. And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by David S. who writes, Hey John, a movie that I think too many of us are overlooking is Dark Waters, which comes out in a couple of weeks. You've got an Academy Award nominee directing it, Todd Hayes, with Academy Award nominee Mark Ruffalo and Academy Award winner Anne Hathaway and Tim Robbins. I like the trailer, and I think this could be a sleeper Oscar pick. What do you guys think? And for those of you who don't know what David's talking about, this is a movie that very quietly dropped its trailer a couple of weeks ago. And it looks fantastic. And nobody is talking about it. We brought it up here on the show and talked about it, but uh, nobody is talking about this. And I agree with you that it is a little perplexing because I think it looks unbelievably good. It's based on true events, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. which is always a hook for me. It's got incredible talent attached to it. And it has a real Aaron Brockovich feel to it, which is nothing but good to me. And I'll be honest with you, uh, like, why isn't more people talking about it? I don't know, because it doesn't have people with capes and laser beams shooting out of their eyes to channel my inner Marty Scorsese for a second. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't know, but this movie looks fantastic. Now, all I, for all I know, it's terrible, but and they haven't done a lot of marketing for it either. Let's keep that in mind. They haven't done a ton of marketing. But I think this movie looks absolutely wonderful. Chris, uh, you had a chance to watch this trailer. I think you mm -hmm. might have even been on the episode that we talked about initially. What? Why do you think nobody's talking about this movie right now? What do you think's going on there? I don't know, but they should be. They had me at Tenacious Attorney. I mean, come on. <laughs> like, formulaically, this is exactly the kind of movie I like. True events, Tenacious Attorney, evil corporations that need to be taken down, thriller aspects. I am so hyped for this. I think the cast looks incredible, too. You've got Ruffalo. You've got Hathaway. You have, uh, oh gosh, what's his name? The guy who plays Cheaty on Good Place. Uh, William Jackson Harper. Oh, right, yeah. I think is his name. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry William Jackson John. Harper. Okay, he's incredible on that show, and I'm so excited to see him in other things because I adore him. So I think everything about this movie is just all positive check marks. So I'm not sure why it's being kind of buried. I don't know if there's just not a big marketing push or if we're all so focused on other movies around town. I mean, I don't think I've even seen a billboard for this, which it, is crazy. It is crazy. the time of year right now. I mean, also to speak to what you just said, I mean, yeah. look, we've got Jojo Rabbit's in theater yeah. right now, Parasite's in theater right now. We got... Uh, Ford v Ferrari's coming mm -hmm. up. Everybody's talking about Knives Out. I mean, there there is a mm -hmm. lot of stuff pulling people's yeah. attention. Aaron, Dr. Sleep billboards are <laughs> everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think about this? Why do you think this isn't getting a lot of chatter right now? And do you think there should be? Well, you know, I mean, Bill Pullman, I mean, anybody from Spaceballs, I'm just going to be okay yeah. with that. I mean, like, I, I, I'm a bit of a big fan of his for a long time. Um, and so I, I don't know. I'm a little... I'm conflicted about this because I do have a friend who did marketing for studio films um, and who years ago said to me, he goes, there's a reason why you don't see certain, why you don't see billboards and advertising for certain movies. And it's because sometimes the movie will come out and the studio is just like, we don't see this doing well and we're not going to spend the P&A money, Princeton Advertising, for people who don't know. Um, P&A is a huge expense for studios. In fact, it's not going to be the budget of the movie, but it's in the millions Sometimes of dollars. Sometimes it's more, depending on the movie. Right. And so if you think <laughs> about the capital that's required for a studio to push a movie and to even make people aware of it, they have to really believe in it. And so they're there's a part of me that goes, all right, well, yeah, there's all these incredible people behind it. But again, we've seen time and time again that stars do not necessarily make a film successful. They don't necessarily even make a film good. There's a lot of things that go into it. So um, I, I, I got I, I to gotta say I'm a little on the fence about this because it is concerning to me that the studio has not put seemingly any money into promoting this film. It makes me wonder if they know something that we don't. All right, well, question here is, guys, what do you think about this? Did you, Have you even seen the trailers for it yet? If so, maybe it didn't interest you. If not, why not? Maybe you're wondering why the hell aren't more people talking about this? Jump down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right.